What's poppin' Who That Nation? It's your boy. Who knows? Today I'm previewing the New Orleans Saints versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sean Payton, let me holler at you. Sean Payton, would you please coach this week? Would you please coach this week? I know you comfortable with the Hall of Famer, Drew Brees out there running the show. I'll get to draw in a minute, but would, would you please come up with a game plan this week? Because it's too many times where you just send Drew out there and just let Drew just add out. It's too many times. Last week was a prime example of that. Losing to the Atlanta Falcons, the one and seven Atlanta Falcons. They came in that game and they gave the Saints everything they could handle. They was lackadaisical. It's no excuse to have your team coming off a of bye playing like that. But granted, it was one game. It's the NFL. You move on. But we need that Teddy Bridgewater playbook for Drew. This this is nothing against Drew. Drew, great Hall of Famer, first ballot, but I say that to say every team, every defensive coordinator has seen Drew Brees a thousand times. They know exactly what you're going to run with Drew. It's just up to them to stop it. Most of the time, they can't stop it, but a lot of the times, great teams can stop it. If you got a great defensive coordinator, they can stop it. When we was running that ABC, one, two, three, kind of West Coast style offense with Teddy Bridgewater, teams didn't know how to defend that. That's why you saw the offense getting better as the weeks was going on, because Teddy was getting better. Now, I'm not saying put Teddy back in. You keep, you keep Teddy where he at on the bench, Drew back. But I'm saying, Sean Payton, could you please start coaching this week? Instead of just... Going out there running seams. The only time you try to be creative is on third down. And it be crazy creative. It's third down. Michael Thomas the only playmaker in the game. You got Kamara on the bench. You got Murray on the bench. Ted Gimby on the bench. You'll have Arnold out there with Hill and the fullback on third and six. Trying to be creative. Trying to run something creative with, with that lineup. Would you have a game plan for Taysom this week? Let me get off Sean. This is supposed to be about the Saints. Anyway, anyway, moving along. So, Drew, a lot of people be hard on Drew. I don't be hard on Drew until the playoffs come. I'm putting the playoffs on Drew. The regular season, I put this on the team. Drew, he hold on to the ball a lot, but I understand why he hold on to the ball. Nobody getting open. Who's getting up? Who's getting open out there? Nobody be open. Ted again don't be open. Trey Quan Smith don't be open. Austin Carr don't be open. Keith Kurtwood don't be open. I know they hurt right now, but he'll be back. He's not gonna be open. Jerry Cook don't be getting open. I, I don't know if to blame that on play calling or just to blame it on them. But they don't be getting open. So I be understanding why Drew be holding the ball for so long sometimes. But that go back to what I was saying at the beginning of the video. Can we get that dink and dunk offense? We need that New England offense for Drew. Because he don't really have no big-time receivers to get open. No great route runners. He don't have that. So we need some quick. Four, five-yard passes. And then Drew got a problem with always looking for the big play, but he programmed like that. From having Derry Henderson, Robert Meacham, uh, Ted, when he did have an arm and he could get it to him, he programmed to look for the big play. He's been doing it his whole career in New Orleans. So I understand why he do that. It's hard to get out of that type of stuff. But defense, could we show up? Dennis Allen, could you please not put P.J.? Out there, one on one, manning up with somebody. PJ play good in zone, and he could play. I think he better. At, he need to be in the slot at all times. But a lot of people wanted Chauncey Gardner over PJ, but I take PJ over him due to the fact that he a veteran. 
he got more chemistry with his back end than Chauncey Gardner, but the rookie good ball. But Dennis Allen, could you could you recognize? Do do we have a dime package? That's what I wanted to ask the Saints fans. Do we have a dime package? Cause I never seen AJ Klein off the field with just Demario Davis in and four corners. Do we have a dime package? I never seen it. If you've seen it before, let me know. It's always Mitch Max, but it's not like I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying we can't afford to lose this game against Tampa. Do I think we're going to lose? No. I think they're about to handle their business. Jameis is going to give us a touchdown. You can count on Jameis to give us a touchdown, but you also can count on Jameis to, to ball out. You'll know what you're going to get from Jameis in the first quarter. Either he's going to ball out or either he's going to give the game away. Either he either going to ball out or give the game away. But I'm not worrying about Tampa. They do have a good defense. Their offense can score. If Marshawn Lattimore don't play, it's going to be a long day. I think Eli could, could hold his own if if Dennis Allen. This game will come down to Dennis Allen if Marshawn don't play. Because that defense is completely different without Marshawn. Completely different. So, if he play, we'll be good. If he don't play, I still think we'll win the game, but it'll be a whole lot of trouble. It'll be a whole lot of trouble for us. They'll be able to put points on the board. We need some pressure from that D-line. Davenport, Jordan, Brown, Rankins, we need some pressure this week on Jameis. He'll trick him into making mistakes, you know, but – I'm going to cut this short because I spent a lot of time talking about Sean Payton. I do got the Saints winning this one, at least by 10 points. And like I just say, Sean Payton, would you just coach this week? You, you did a good job the whole season. You took a week off. Cool. It happens. But just help Drew. You know he don't have no receivers. Help him. So with that being said, it's your boy. Who knows, man? Who that?